Understanding of the Narita Aerobic Granular Sludge Technology in the Netherlands. Sponsored by LIFT, a scholarship exchange experience for innovation in technology, which in turn is sponsored by the Water Research Foundation, WERF, and the Water Environment Federation, WEF. Fairfax County is located near Washington, D.C. The Noman Coal Pollution Control Plant serves about 400,000 county residents in the southern half of the county. The Noman Coal Plant is located in Lorton, Virginia, and discharges to the Pohick Creek, which leads into the Potomac River. The treatment plant has a good compliance record with the Clean Water Act. It is surrounded by residents and businesses who are concerned about odors, and although there is some buffer, a highway expansion will cut into that in the near future. The 67 million gallon a day plant treats wastewater in a series of steps with enhanced biological nutrient removal, BNR, and advanced wastewater treatment, AWT, achieving nutrient limits of 0.18 milligram per liter total phosphorus, 1 milligram per liter of ammonia, nitrogen, and 3 milligrams per liter of total nitrogen. Planning has begun for the expansion and rehabilitation of the secondary treatment process. Increasing the capacity will require additional facilities that will encroach on the plant's buffer from neighbors. The secondary treatment process removes nitrogen to 5 mg per liter and phosphorus to about 0.5 mg per liter. Upstream and downstream of the secondary treatment process is flow buffering called equalization. Limiting the plant's capacity is its ability to settle secondary solids. Intensification is attractive to increase capacity by carrying more solids because of better settling. One intensification process is Narita Granular Aerobic Sludge. The process is marketed in the U.S. by Aqua Aerobics. The patent holder is Royal Haskening DHV. It was invented by a pair of professors at Delft University of Technology. When planning our trip, there was only in the U.S. a single facility, a demonstration facility in Rockford, Illinois, just being brought online. Our goal was to see if this aerobic granular sludge is an established treatment process by visiting the laboratory where it was invented and some established facilities. Sponsored by Lift See It, we planned a trip to the Netherlands. Our plan was to visit Delft University, located near The Hague, where the process was invented, Epe, in the center of the country, the site of an early pilot and where the first municipal plant is located, and Jammervold, located in the north near Groningen, which operates a plant in size similar to the Noman Coal Pollution Control Plant and has operated it for several years. At the university, we met one of the inventors of the granular aerobic sludge and visited his laboratory. Professor von Lustricht is on the right. Their research led them to use phosphorus accumulating organisms for the basis of the granular aerobic sludge. The granulars are also capable of nitrification and denitrification. The process operates in a batch cycle with first a simultaneous fill and draw, then a react step, third of settling step. From the laboratory scale, the process was scaled up to demonstration pilots, then full-scale plants with the help of engineers with the Royal Hasconian DHV. We visited the EPE pilot, one of the first municipal pilots, and met the engineer Bart de Bruyne, who helped scale up the technology from laboratory scale to the full size. We visited the site of the first full-size municipal plant, which has been online since 2011, when inaugurated by the Crown Prince, now King of the Netherlands. Note the granules. They're real. We visited Yammervald. The Yammervald plant serves the equivalent of 300,000 people. It has been operational since 2013. 
About half of the flow, serving 140,000 population equivalent, is treated by activated sludge process circled in orange. The other half is served by Nurita system shown in yellow. That same treatment is in fewer tanks and takes up less space. The time-lapse video shows Yammervolt sludge and Noman coal sludge settling. Despite a solids concentration double that of the Noman coal plant, the Yammervolt sludge settles to half of its height in less than three minutes. Conclusion Granular aerobic sludge does exist. It has been studied in the laboratory for almost 20 years. In the past several years, it has been operated in full-scale installations. It might fit into the Noman coal plant, which has flow equalization and post-secondary treatment processes. If so, it could increase capacity without significant footprint. However, we need to learn more about how it would work with U.S. wastewater composition and effluent requirements. We would like to acknowledge the following.